Well, here you go, and everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen. As I always say, hope you're able to have a little bit of a hunt here and there. Swap meet season's underway, so I hope you managed to get to a swap meet, maybe flea market, or even found some cool stuff off eBay. Hope you found an awesome found some awesome stuff this week everyone hope you had an awesome week well went to my first swap meet of 2015 ladies and gentlemen picked up lots of great stuff got awesome stuff off my mad mate which is in the mix today and various other awesome little bits and pieces managed to go with dad it was it was at Toowoomba probably one over if not the biggest swap meet here in Queensland here in Australia really awesome swap meet takes for ages to walk around find all the goodies but it was certainly well worth it as you can see I got my fair share of awesome stuff and I even um, spent my, some of the day as well with one, one of my other um, Hot Wheels collector mates he tagged around with dad and I had lots of fun had some jokes and that and found some pretty awesome stuff along the way as well so let's get started what could we start off with possibly well I'll start off with um, something dad found what he really loves to collect and i also don't mind collecting it as well the old craig lounge cars he's a v8 supercar driver over here in australia really awesome race car driver really really nice and dad found a car he didn't have of his his so that one's really cool i think that might have been from one of his very early years when he started really really cool car and dad was a bit bit unsure if he had it or not and I was pretty dead certain he didn't have it because the year of Commodore wasn't the years he has in the collection already so he was pretty happy to get that and so so was I because he's got quite a big um, array of Lanzi cars now so dad was pretty happy with that he was bouncing off the walls managed to find some more number plates and some even some um, Chevy um, caps for the wheels as well I was pretty happy to pick those up as well pretty weighty as well of course because I don't think they knew about plastic back in the old days I'm not sure what year this is from it might be from I don't really want to say I'll probably stuff it up but they do look pretty old got a pretty good deal on them and I certainly didn't pay 25 bucks that's for sure love the patina love the way they look so I'll probably putting these somewhere in my room I do, don't mind collecting my little um, badges or little knickknacks off Chevrolets here and there. I've got a little hubcap down in there. I've got um, badges off a Chevelle, even a um, part of um, the Chevy bow tie off um, one of the 1970s trucks, and I had a cool little story to go with it too. So I was happy to grab those. Dad actually helped me haggle with them, haggle for them. So that was pretty good. And whoop, found some more. USA number plates got more North Carolina ones. I seem to have a North Carolina number plate magnet somewhere on me because I keep finding North Carolina ones. But that's of course where Dale Earnhardt and Dale, I mean Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Dale Earnhardt Jr. hail from North Carolina and um, Gravedigger as well. I think they got their their team in North Carolina. 1971. That one's pretty old. They what? They have a bit of weight to them, I have to admit, in 1984. They're really cool as well. Got commercial written on it, so I was really happy to get them. Two more USA number plates to add to the collection. And speaking of Mr. Dale Earnhardt, the Intimidator, I managed to find some of his die cast as well because I was hoping to find some of his cars at the swap meet because it's that big, this swap meet. Got some loose ones, got... His van, his Chevy van, where it says five-time national champion, but as everyone knows, he was a seven-time champion. And got one of his mighty Luminas as well. Love his old Luminas. Probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite race car of his, but it's a bit hard to choose when he's got so many. He drove Fords, he drove Dodges, and but he, I guess he found his home at old mighty Chevrolet. And he even drove Pontiacs as well. He's driven quite an array of race cars and I think this is another one of his actually this one might be a Monte Carlo but still love the black such a tough looking car one of the old matchbox ones from 95 back when I was well when dad was buying them for me we had a couple of loose NASCAR cars and even the transporters as well as I've touched on now and again and got one of his transporters as well now one of the sellers did have quite a few 
of his transporters but I really wanted to buy all of them but the money was tallying up by then if I was going to buy all of them so I picked out one I, I liked the best and picked out I think that I actually think that's a Kenworth cab and I love the artwork on the trailer got his mighty Lumina there GM Goodwrench Racing really stands out so I was really happy to grab one of those for the collection would have liked more but I was pretty happy with what I found of Dale Earnhardt the legend the intimidator what can we get to next? We'll probably start off with, well, get to the loose stuff, I mean. Just found a couple of little bits here and there. Let her get her here with a metal base. I probably already got her, but she was cheap enough, and you can't beat the beaters, that's what I always say. Or they're beat, but they're still neat. That one's really, really nice. I've got another one of these Corvettes. I know the my mate who was hanging around with Dad and I, I think he was keen for it, so I'll probably give it to him anyway, because I've already got it in the collection. Really cool, love those little Corvettes and uh, more better condition um, of the Ramblin' Wrecker for the collection because I know the one I have doesn't have the back bit on it. Actually, it doesn't have the back bit on it, I am correct. So that one's pretty cool, a little bit better shape than the other one. But this is the only second, this is the second one I have seen of the Ramblin' Wrecker in yellow. I'm pretty sure it's called Ramblin' Wrecker, I should know. So that one's pretty cool. Two, to, well, another one to add to the collection. Pretty nice looking truck. We'll get to the carded stuff now as well. Dad actually bought four of these for me, which was really nice of him. And can you pick which one he really wanted the most? The old Thunder Roller. Now I remember when I was a kid taking this little truck to, well, big truck to school and playing with it all the time. But she's still in pretty good shape. The one I have in my collection, but made sure we got a carded one because it's such a tough looking truck the big old Kenworth cab really really nice indeed you can certainly live in the back compartment there it's that big really nice casting by Hot Wheels glad she stuck around as well I think she's still in the adult collector line to this day the old Oshkosh snowplow another truck I remember greatly from when I was a kid absolutely awesome as love the old Oshkoshes this one doesn't have the plow because I think after couple of years I started not doing it with the plow because obviously it was getting lost all the time or it was costing them quite a bit of money to produce but still really awesome truck something I always try and get when I can and two other ones here as you can see this is not a Toyota MR2 rally car if it is it's one of the more futuristic designs now it's the mighty Lamborghini Countach I absolutely love the old Lamborghinis Especially this one here, really nice and pretty cool to get it on an error card as well. And by the looks of it, it's international as well. So that one's really awesome for the collection. Gotta love the old blue cards and the old 90s stuff. And last but not least, from the four dad bought me, the old Corvette Stingray 3. I think it was a concept car Chevrolet General Motors did back in the day. Really nice looking Corvette as well, might I say. And got the old little collector's tip up there as well don't mind reading them don't think I have this carded though so that one's really awesome got a carded matchbox here as well the old Chevy stock car or Chevy Pro stocker with the mighty laser wheels I absolutely adore the laser wheels it really stands out really well presented by matchbox as well they're just so cool looking it certainly does resemble the 80s doesn't it Really, really nice indeed. Not too bad shape either. I reckon I got it for a pretty good price as well. And I do love my Chevy stockers as well in the Matchbox and also in the Hot Wheels as well. Always grab them when I can or one I don't ha or ones I don't have in the collection already or even I just buy them to buy them because I love them that much. So those were the other carded cars. Now we get to these ones here. These were off my man mate. Pretty much the rest I'm going to talk about is off my man mate. Got the old Color Racers 2 here with the old Marty 55 Chevy. That one's really cool. Unfortunately, not made by Hot Wheels anymore. I think yesterday she was a darker purple or a blue, but as you can see, the heat's gotten to her a bit. Changed it to a more pinky sort of color. That one's pretty cool. $2, what a bargain. Let's have a look at the back because the card art's always pretty good on the back as well. That was really nice. Finally was able to grab that off my man, mate. Done me a good deal, just like on this one as well. The old little race ace. I I think that might be a little Chevy, that one, but might be a Malibu. No, not a Malibu. I could be wrong, but anyway, a Cavalier. 
Maybe I could be wrong, or it's probably a Ford or a Dodge, but still glad to have the Super California Custom in the collection. I do love the look of these. It's very 90s, as you can see, or very late 80s with all the colours and that, the wild fluoro colours and that, and have a look at the card art on the back. As you can see, you can make it from a normal street car into a big blown pro streeter. That was really awesome, that series as well. Great cars in the mix. Got the old Firebird, the old Ford Vicky there, the big Chev truck. I'm pretty sure it is, and the Marty 55 Chevy again. So I was really happy to grab that one off my man, mate. And last two here, one of them is my Holy Grail. Can you guess what it might be, ladies and gentlemen? We shall have a look at that at the end of the video. But first up, my first, I guess you could say vintage leo for the collection because i do have a couple of other ones but they're more from the 90s i think this one's from the very late 80s or maybe early 90s i could be wrong but anyway one of one i've been after for a little while because it is the gmc motorhome one of my favorite castings to collect and it's got the amazing spider-man on the side how cool is that made in india as you can see the leos that's what they referred to by not really seen too often. I have seen a couple on eBay, but with the Leos, the um, Indian-made Hot Wheels, they're not really as probably top quality as maybe the Hong Kong USA versions or Malaysian versions from back in the day. Just like the French ones and also the Speed Machines as well. They're kind of a bit rough, roughly made, as you could say, but still they're quite hard to find and do command quite a bit of a price, but I got a good deal on this one because... Because my man bought it off my man, mate. He always does me good deals. And we'll have a look at the back as well. As you can see, some various cast things on there. The Torino stock and the double-decker bus. I think that was more of a international release, maybe in England or France, something like that. The Sun are gone. I think old Dreadnought, th Dreadnought 320 has got a couple of Indian-made ones. And as you can see, a few little bit of Did You Knows just there as well very very cool I will certainly try and display this somewhere in my room on my general motor shelf so really happy to find one of them and really mint condition as well the card really awesome condition which leaves us to one of my holy grails I don't know if you've guessed what it is everyone it's certainly a casting I always collect been after this one for a while do have quite a few in the collection already so let's have a look Yes, it is the Pavement Pounder. Probably been one of the hardest to find trucks for me. I do have a beaten up loose one, but I am finally was finally glad to get a carded one because I know my man mate was saying, oh, I'm getting one from the States. And I made sure I tried to get it when I could off him. He did me a good deal. Really awesome truck. And I think I'm pretty close to completing the set of the Real Rider, Byway Man's Power Plows and Super Scrapers, if that makes any sense. Because I think I've got all of the wheel variations for the Byway Man. The b variations for the, um, I think it's the Super Scraper, the Red Truck. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm pretty sure there's another variation on this truck as well with the Toolbox and Non-Toolbox variation. So I shall keep my eye out for one of them because I remember I missed out on one on eBay and it went for a ridiculously low price but anyway we live and learn don't we so very very happy with that another one to tick off the list of my holy grails and most wanted hot wheels now I'm just going to complete the list but I haven't made a list everyone but I do know what I'm after I'm sure everyone else too does have holy grails they want to get for the collection so there you go. That was my haul from the Toowoomba Swap Meet. As I said, had lots of fun with Dad and my, and my mate. And it was good to see my mad mate again as well. And a few other guys as well who are into the collecting over here in Australia who I like talking to now and again. Well, that's it for this week's vid, everyone. Really hope you did enjoy. Thank you to everyone who tunes in each and every week. Leaves a kind comment, likes the video, or does whatever, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Really do appreciate your support. That's it for this week, everyone. Thank you for watching, and well done to the New England Patriots who won the Super Bowl this week. I'm very pleased about that, and a bit sad for the Seattle Seahawks, but I'm sure they'll be in another um, 
Super Bowl in the not too distant future. They do have a good team, but well done to the Patriots. I was glad to see them win. Another team for me to go for, I guess. Well, that's it for this week, everyone. Really hope you did enjoy, and remember as always, everyone, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.